Okay, so today I'm going to teach you on this wonderful Thursday percent percent change percent change so on Sunday the laptop cost $500 today it is on sale for $350. What is the percent? Oops. Change. All right, so let's see this. On Sunday, the laptop cost $500. Today is on sale for $350. What is a percent change? So this is like opposite of what we've been doing. Usually I give you like, okay, the laptop costs $500. You're gonna save 50%. What's the new price, right? Usually I give you the percent. Now we're working backwards. We're working backwards in, I give you the new price, or I give you the old price of $50, $500, and I give you the new price of $350, and you have to determine, okay, what's the percent that you took away? So we're solving for percent, okay? Did you say 20%? Did you say 50%? Did you say 5%? So today I'm gonna teach you how to find percent. Ready or not, here it is. All right, so here is the formula to find the percent, okay? So when they ever ask you on a test, oops, when they ever ask you on a test, like how do you, what's the percent change? This is what you have to do. Ah, all right, Henry, makes a lot of sense now. You're gonna take your new price, subtract it from your old price, and then divide it by your old price, okay? So take your new price minus your old price and divide it by your old price. That will give you a decimal, which you'll turn into a percent, okay? So what is our new price? So this is where I need your English skills. Present, past tense, all of that. So our what's our new price? Our new price is 350. That's your new price, so 350 minus your old price, this one's your old price, okay? On Sunday, so that was past tense, it's already it's passed, okay? So 350 minus 500 divided by old price, which is 500. Be careful not to put the new price underneath, I'll show you a shortcut in a minute to help you determine that. Okay, did I teach you absolute value? Yes. Okay, good. So this technically has an absolute value symbol. I just wasn't sure if I had taught you absolute value way back in the day. All right. So 350 minus 500 is equal to negative 150, but we just take the absolute value. So it's 150 over 500, right? So if I take 150, so I got that by subtracting 350 minus 500 is negative 150, but it's in the bar, so when we take it out, it's a positive number. If it's a negative number, if you get a negative number, all that means is that the price decreased. And it's like, yeah, the price decreased. That's what that negative means, but we it, uh, we take the absolute value of it. All right, so now I take the answer and I divide it by 500, and that's gonna equal 0 0.3. 0 0.3 is equal to what percent? 
30. 30%. 30%. 30%. So, so because if you take 0.3, move it two times, right? You add a zero, put a percent sign, it's 30%. So this is a 30% decrease. Okay. So you save 30%. That's what the question is asking. Well, how much, what is a percent change? Oh, we changed by 30%. I got 30% off. So again, you take your new price minus your old price divided by your old price. That gives you a decimal. That decimal you turn into a percent and that's what we're solving for, the percent. You can also take this number and multiply it by 100 and that also gives you your percent. Okay, well, very, very different, right? Than what we've been doing. Uh, not terribly difficult. You just have to memorize this part. And I'll show you a trick on this problem. <sighs> All right. The pair of Jordans were on sale for $250. Now they cost <clears throat> $300. What is the percent change? So the pair of Jordans were on sale for $250. Now they cost $300. What is the percent change? What is the percent change? change. So you know how it was new minus old divided by old and kids have trouble memorizing that. So here's a shortcut that I developed. It's not really a shortcut. Um, a way to help you remember the formula. Remember, no, no. You know, when you were a kid, you got in trouble and they said, no, 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 no. Don't get into that. Don't touch that. No, no, no. Stop it. Put that down. No, no, no. Remember, Ah, kids. All right, so that's how I remember it. It's, you have to spell no-no. So you spell no-no this way, and you spell no-no this way. Two times you gotta spell no-no. No and no. Um, that hopefully re reminds you, okay, what goes first? It was it on-on? No, it wasn't on-on. It was no-no. No-no, so the N comes first. N stands for new minus old divided by old. If you switch the numbers, you get a wrong answer, okay? Especially if you put the denominator, if the denominator is wrong, you get a completely terrible, incorrect answer. So remember it is no, no, okay? So what's my new price? And then kids need to use your English skills. What's my new price? Yeah, so this now, this is my new price. Were is past tense, so this is my old price, okay? That was one of the mistakes kids would do is they would flip them, and it's you gotta read the question carefully, you gotta know your present tense and your past tense. So now it's 300 minus 250 divided by 250 equals. So it'd be 50 over 250, right? So then you take your calculator, put the top number in your calculator first, divide it by your bottom number, 250, you get 0 0.2. 0 0.2, that's not the answer. You gotta turn it into a percent because the question's like, what's the percent? If you multiply this by 100, that's your percent. You can do it with your calculator. So that's 20%. Now, since it's a positive number, and you can clearly see that the price went up, it's a 20% increase, 20% increase. Any questions on percent change? No, are we good? Just have to remember, no, no. You're okay with this, 